Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days, seven days from the date that you watch it. But um, we could also say the 19th through the 26th. But then again, the timing is fluid, so you never know. And this reading may or may not be for you, so keep that in mind. So what do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Aries? One card, please. One card. Oh, there it is. Fox. Shrewdness and resource resourcefulness, especially in business. So it has something to do with shrewdness and resourcefulness this week. Using your resources to your fullest benefit. Being careful. You may need to be careful. What do we have for Aries? We got two that fell out. Scorpio. Scorpio. So maybe dealing with a Scorpio this week. You will be attending a get-together soon. So you will be attending a get-together soon. Maybe it's at the beginning of Scorpio season, which is right around the corner. It is during this week. Scorpio season is during the next seven days. We switch over from Libra to Scorpio season. And Scorpio, I think, you know, is, you know, it's about death, okay? It's a, it does represent the death card, so a profound life change. So there's something that is happening in this next week that is probably life changing. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? You're gonna be again attending a get together soon. Journey. Somebody may be packing their bags, going somewhere, you know, taking a journey, saying goodbye to something. You know, crossing that bridge, crossing a bridge with their bag, saying goodbye. It's kind of like the Fool card. Somebody is going somewhere. They're taking a journey. They're going to the other side. They're, they're leaving something behind. Looks like somebody is taking their stuff and they're leaving. They're going somewhere. There's bags packed. So maybe it could be just traveling, taking a journey somewhere. What else do we have for Aries? Oh, this one doesn't want to go in. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Why? Something is happening and you're going to probably, probably be asking why. Everything happens for a reason. I'm going to go ahead and read that card because that's what I've been doing for the other ones. Um, why? Motives, driving intention, the power of knowing the why. There is a great power in understanding your motives right now. The or this oracle or the oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question, looking for this answer, behaving in this way, and most important, making this choice. So you are going to be making a choice. This two is on the journey card. Twos are about choices. They're about changes, taking that next step, okay? Knowing your why is the key to fulfilling when you are clear about it. Your intention will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it and then act on it. When you think about something, feel it and then act on it. This invisible why is the life force energy within the seed, which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. We don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you are being triggered by someone else or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this? And why did I say that? 
and spend some time in introspection, the answers may be surprising. Why do you feel the way you feel? Why? There's obviously a reason for that. Listen to the messages from your intuition, from the knowing deep within you. What does it tell you about yourself and others? In the end, life is all about being loved. In the end, life is all about being loved. Miracles in deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are the buried treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself. Why? Why? Why am I feeling like this? Why am I doing this? Why am I thinking this? And then take a minute. Take a minute to introspect and receive the answer. And then as we read it a little bit back, you need to act on it. So, let's get started. Not that we already haven't, because I think we already have. So, what do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? You will be attending a get-together soon. There's a journey. There's a, there's a journey. Somebody's going to be going somewhere. What do we have for Aries? Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is trying to find balance, trying to make a choice, ups and downs, juggling, struggling, struggling with an option. Uh, what way do you go? It's a profit and a loss. It has to do with some sort of partnership. So I feel like you have to make a choice, you know, which is the best way to go. Two, two of Pentacles is a, it's a power, okay? It's because it does have that what goes around comes around. It's like a, it's got the uh, infinity sign on it. Okay, so it's it's something coming back around. It's something that is happening. It's 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 a never ending energy. I feel like there's a geometric power that is that is realigning you to something, but there's some sort of resistance because you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. Twos are about choices. They're about changes. Um, it definitely has to do with a partnership. Hermit. Now, this hermit is about introspection, going within to think about your choice, to think about what you want to do. So this is going to be a week where you need to go within and withdraw from others and follow your own intuition, listen to your gut, reflect on your needs, take a time out to make some sort of choice. So you're going to be making a big choice. And, you know, the hermit holds a light. And in this card, there's a light as well. So when, when we see a light, there may be a light bulb moment or some sort of clarity that is coming. Also, um, being led out of a dark situation. So you may be being led out of a dark situation. Maybe you need to uh, go within to plan your next move, to think about everything that is going on in your life and reflect on your future. You know, what, what do you want for your future anyway? I think you want balance, right? You want stability, but there's probably something you need to let go of with that two of pentacles. Okay, two of pentacles typically juggling, going back and forth. Juggling is a game, okay? Sometimes you got to make a choice. You got to choose between the two. You can't go back and forth, you know? So I feel like you need to make some sort of significant choice this week. Whew. It's very significant. We got the tower. Okay, so the tower is a major disruption. It's a false sense of security. It's a false foundation. Uh, somebody is involved in something that is not stable. It's not secure. Somebody could be getting thrown out, pushed out. Um, all of a sudden, sudden change. This could be a disaster. Um, mm. We have a departure here. We do have a departure. This is a departure. It is. Somebody is departing a situation that they can't stay in. They can't stay there anymore. They'll, you know, the heat is on. The heat, they have to leave now. You gotta go. You gotta go right now. You know, it's time to go right now before 
you know, you don't have any chance at all. <laughs> Something like that, right? Now, Tower is a shock. It is a surprise. It's sudden, extremely sudden change. Now, this is Mars energy. So there could be a fight or there could be an explosion. There could be um, something that happens. It comes out of nowhere. There could be some truth that gets revealed. Whatever is happening, it's happening extremely fast, all of a sudden, and there's going to be a departure. It's a sudden departure. It is. This is, you can't stay here. It's, you, it, you can't. The moon, the moon. So the moon is all as not as it seems. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. There's hidden forces and the tower is force. All of these cards are upright. That's crazy. This is force. This is universal force the, because the tower is universe. The universe is forcing you to face your fears, perhaps. It's like you have to jump. You have to jump. It's you must, you must, you must. It's time to go. You have to go right now. You have to take this leap. You have to go. All is not as it seems. There's something here that is off. Something is hidden. I don't know. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Dead end on the bottom. That's a dead end. The season is over. There's no nothing left to invest in. Uh, this is unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. There's no more growth. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to relocate to more fertile ground. The ground is unstable. We are at. There's there's no growth here. All is not as it seems. There's some sort of illusion with the moon card. The moon, the moon card is ruled by Pisces, can also be ruled by Cancer. It's illusion. What you see is not what you get. It's because of the shadow. The shadow hides the truth. Okay? So there's some truth that has been hidden, but it's right next to the tower. So something is probably going to be revealed. Something that has hidden, been hidden, whether it's something that is unstable. It could be within your body. It could be within your home. It could be within a relationship. Something that has been able to survive up until now is about to uh, crash. Okay? It's about to be dealt with. You're going to have to face it. You're going to have to face the reality that this isn't okay. It's not it's not, you can't stay in this situation any longer, okay? So something big, big, big with the tower is going to happen. Um, somebody wants to be free. They want to be free. They're looking for freedom. They're ready to be free. Somebody's hiding something from you. Now the Seven of Pentacles is upright. So Seven of Pentacles is about investment, right? It's about perseverance. It's about uh, should I or shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? So somebody is thinking about whether they should uh, do something or not, whether it's worth it, whether they, whether they should uh, go someplace else or not. If they're thinking right now. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups is the end. It's like a relationship. It is. It's happiness. But tens are typically completions. So I'm wondering if there's an end of a relationship here. There's something to do with a mother and a child. Judgment on the bottom. Judgment is a life-changing decision. So there is a life-changing decision that is being made. This is the end of things. This is truths being revealed. And I saw that. This is some sort of truth that is being revealed. 
and accountability, responsibility being is assigned. This is the end of things. It's the end of a false sense of security that you have been involved in because that tower is there and the moon is there. There's lies, there's deception, maybe even self-deception. The tower and the moon right together is lies and deception. I'm sorry, but it is. Okay, and this is truth being revealed. So something is about to be revealed. This is ready, ready to be judged, ready to release, ready to forgive. It's time, it's time. It's like it's judgment day, making a judgment call. There's also karma that is being assigned. There's karma, it's a, and it is definitely karma because you're in the opposite of the wheel of Libra and because of the because of the Aries full moon it's going to hit you really hard okay and I'm not trying to scare anybody but because of it's 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 definitely a karmic time anything that is false in your life that is the unstable that has been um, hidden okay if the truth has been hidden there's been some sort of deception there's been some sort of lies Truth is going to be revealed, okay? Truth is going to be revealed, and it's going to cause a major uproar. It's going to cause a disruption, okay? We have a dis dismantling of a false sense of security. Karma is in full swing this week for you. Um, being held accountable for past decisions, okay? This is consequences. Um, It's also, you know, when you think of court, there's two sides. So it doesn't always have to be consequences. It can also be reward. Um, there is happiness in the future. There is happiness. The Ten of Cups is in the future. So in the future, there's an opportunity for happiness, extreme happiness. It has something to do with a mother and a child. But it will require investment and you will have to nurture something because the Seven of Pentacles is about nurturing. It's about nurturing. It's about taking care of, taking, I don't know, maybe it's about taking care of a mother and a child. <laughs> maybe it's you. I mean, we have this mother and a child here. And then we have this investment. This is about taking care of things, nurturing things. The Seven of Pentacles right next to the Ten of Cups. So it's about nurturing and taking care of and investing in happiness, investing in a relationship. So it's about investing in, in happiness. You're gonna, but there's been some false pretenses here. Behind that Seven of Pentacles is the Tower and the Moon. There's been lies, there's been deception, there's been... Uh, falseness, there's been instability, something was built on unstable ground probably from the beginning, there was probably lies from the beginning and deception from the beginning everything is about to be revealed okay? because the light is going to be shed on the truth that's why we have the light here and this is seeing the light and becoming enlightened, okay? There is a rude awakening here with the, with the tower card. That is a rude awakening. You never saw it coming. Something is going to happen. It is judgment day. It's time to be judged. Are you ready to be judged? It's time to be judged. It's time to be held accountable. Um, this is a card of, of acceptance. It's a card of release. It's a card of um, awakening. It can also be a card of resurrection. So, so it could also be a card of reconciliation. Reconciliation with, from, with somebody that you have a past life connection with. This is a past life connection. Somebody that you've been with in a past life. That's probably why you feel so familiar with this person. Um... You don't have anything to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You need to, it's time. It's time to break free. It's time to break free. Okay, there's freedom. I know that there is. Taking a journey, leaving everything behind, taking very little with you. Going somewhere. Crossing that bridge. It's a time of profound change. Making a very significant decision. This is a life-changing decision. This is a life-changing decision, okay? I 
I feel like there's a lot of fear, fear of the unknown. You're going to have to face your fears. You're going to have to face your fears. You are going to be facing some fears. You're going to be guided so you don't have to worry. You've been guided. You've, somebody's been trying to guide you. They've been trying to guide you somewhere towards your happiness. But there's been delusion with that moon card. You've, maybe you've been in denial about it. You've been, it's like the light has been there. It's like it's been trying to get you to see the light, but there's been some walls with that tower. It's like there's been some falseness here. There's been some sort of, a lot has been hidden, okay? Or it's been denied, denial. Great personal fear. Fear of not being accepted. Nine of Wands on the bottom. So that is great personal fear. I feel like you've been hurt. You've been wounded. This is a wounded warrior. I think you've been determined to hang on to your current situation. Maybe you were avoiding challenge because you've been hurt so bad. There was so much fear of acceptance. Judgment is a card of acceptance. You will be accepted. I think you need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself for your past mistakes. Stop living any type of lie that you've been living. Because the moon card is lies. And so isn't the tower. I think that you've gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. I think you're still going through it. I think you're, you're, you're waking up. You're waking up to the truth. You're seeing the truth. But, 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 <laughs> but, 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 but. There's fear, because the moon instills fear. It's, it's, it's fear. The moon is fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of investing in something and not getting it back. That's not what's going to, that's not going to happen. Two of swords. Torn. Torn. Difficult decision. Painful, stressful decision. You're torn. You're torn in two different directions. You don't, and you're definitely held back by fear. Definitely held back by fear. You're at a you're at this crossroads where you definitely have to make a choice. It's a painful choice. Do you do you want to live in fear in a false sense of security, or do you want to invest in happiness? It's a big choice. Either way, you're just biding your time. You might as well go now. What if you miss the opportunity and somebody gets it, and and later on you come around and it's too late. Ace of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. This is this is sad. Okay, that's tears. That's emotional shutdown. It's emotional loss. Uh, not listening to your intuition. Um, a loss of love. You know, you could lose an opportunity for love because of a false sense of security that is unstable. Painful, stressful decision. Seeing the truth. The truth is going to be revealed. Light is going to be shed. You're going to be forced. There's force. There's force. Forced to make a decision. Forced to make a choice. Universe is forced. Forced to see the light. So it's like you're going to be forced. Something is going to happen. There's universal force here. There's karma. There is karma. There's being held accountable for actions. Lies being exposed. There's something to do with a mother and a child or happiness or a relationship here. Do you invest in it or not? I think that's what's on your mind. Should I go? Should I not? Should I go? Um, this is, there's tears. There's sadness. There's a loss of emotional content. We may have somebody here that's not being emotionally honest with themselves. Mmm. Ten of Pentacles right next to the Ten of Cups. So it looks to me like something about home. I don't know if you're headed to a new home. 
There could be a new opportunity here. Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate com comfort. It's the ultimate home. It's the ultimate business opportunity. It is financial success, something permanent, something solid, something stable with a mother and a child. So there's a, there's a masculine, a mother, and a child. This is headed towards abundance, 210s, completion of a relationship. And I feel like this completion of a relationship it has to do with some sort of reunion. It's interesting because in death always there's an ending that leads to a new beginning. So there's something that is happening here. This tens are completions. I mean, judgment was double tens and then we got two double tens together. So completion, 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 completion. Completion of a, of a contract, completion of a trial, the end, the end. This is starting a new family, starting a new business, buying a new home or investing in a new home and a new living situation. There could definitely be because the tower is moving, uh, the journey card is moving, the ten of pentacles. Some of you are moving. There's a new living situation that is coming up. This is something permanent because the ten of pentacles is permanent. But I think you've been struggling and I can see the struggle with the two of pentacles and the two of swords. Now we have two, two, two. We have two in the journey card, two in the two of pentacles, two in the two of swords. Two, two, two is about partnerships. Twos are about partnerships. Twos are about intuition. Twos are about changes. Twos are about choices and twos are about foundations. And they're about soulmates, potential soulmates. So you have to make a choice in regards to your foundation, in regards to your partnership. You probably have a potential soulmate here. Um, there's going to be a change, but it's always your choice, okay? You're going to be making a big choice. But it, and the thing is, you got to be really careful, especially with the moon card. That is be careful. And the judgment is about consequences because there's consequences for your choice. Okay? You can stay in a state of, in a false sense of security where, where we first had the seven of pentacles reversed. There's no investment. There's no growth. There's no success. Or you can make this choice and you can make a change and you can go in that new direction and you can have the ultimate abundance. Again, the choice is up to you. So I do believe that you are going to be put in a situation where you're basically at that crossroads. Okay, you're at that moment. It's a moment of decision. Because... It's like that line is in the sand. It's in the dirt, okay? You're right in the middle here, okay? Once you get to the other side, it's like the bridge disappears. You can't go back. You can't go back. So this is a very prominent decision. I think that you are going to be making a life-changing decision with a judgment card. I think that you know that it's time, but there's been a lot of fear and there's been a lot of illusion. Um, there, I think the biggest fear is, will I be accepted? Will this last? Will it work out? I would have to say that the answer is yes. Good luck.